I think my AOL screen name was Hang 10 Chris. My AIM screen name, I had three of them. I had the first one was Frank Gone Wild 2, not one, two, it was a sequel. Tinker 3 Bell. So I had a lot of screen names, but my favorite one was The Bump. People thought it might be a skateboarding term or maybe something sexual. No, no, this was Goosebumps books. Lucky you, 18. Like the elephant in the room is like, that's vaguely uh, provocative. Can we even say that? But it wasn't meant to be like that. At the time, I was thinking, I love my dog. My dog's name is Lucky. 18 is my favorite number. Tinkerbell is also blonde. She's small. She's like kind of fashionable. So I sort of wanted to think that of myself as well. I was a stupid teenager child. I thought it was cool. AIM was the center of your social life. Instant Messenger was cool. It was really convenient and it was quick. How it played a role in my life was completely just to talk to my friends and boys that I was interested in in high school. If I really liked a girl and I was sitting at home on AIM and that door opened and it was her, there was nothing. It was like she walked into your room. It was nothing more exciting. It was sort of like the pre-Facebook Instagram social media addiction. It's like you're loved, you're popular. <laughs> Someone cares about you even though you had head care. But when you're 16, it's the most important thing in your life. When I think about it now, AIM was my first experience living online. We're all used to it now with our phones, but back then when you could have an away message, it meant that your virtual self was still online. I actually really used to love making creative uh, away messages and kind of put that into like, I'm gonna write this thing and people are gonna be so curious about what it is. It's sadly not that different from what I do right now at 30. And it was before uh, we all got creeped out by the negative parts of the internet. There was something magical about being able to go on, especially if you're like an awkward kid in Georgia, which I was all of the above. How do you feel about it being gone forever? Well, this is, that's breaking news to me, because honestly, I didn't realize it was number one still around, and number two, that now it's gone. Um, how do I feel about it being gone forever? I feel nothing. Good riddance. It's been replaced. It's been surpassed. But there's like a little nostalgia there. Tinker Three Bell will never live again. I'd like to say I'm sorry to see you go, but I think I said my goodbyes probably 10 or 12 years ago. Thank <laughs> you.